the Mercedes-Benz SUV range refresh is now complete. Over the last few years, we've launched brand new versions of the original G-Wagon, GLS, GLE, GLC, and of course the all new GLB. But now to round off the range is the all new GLA. Let's start with the first thing you'll notice, the styling. Designed with sensual purity in mind, the powerful jeans from the family have reached our most compact model. From the broad shoulders to the four segment LED rear tail lights to the super sharp headlights with a two piece LED design. The surfaces feature reduced lines to let the bodywork do the talking. This is what sensual purity means. The lines are simply there to accentuate the already gorgeous, strong and athletic stance. Here we have the sport model which starts off the range with 18 inch aerodynamically optimized wheels on all four corners to reduce drag and turbulence whilst driving. I especially like the rugged front end design with the block segments on the splitter as well as the wraparound chrome weather strip at the rear which also houses the exhaust tips. Moving along we've got the GLA in AMG line where the diamond pin grille sits lower and wider and combined with the wraparound A-wing front splitter design it gives the already athletic looking car a more purposeful stance. There are aerodynamically optimised alloy wheels on all four corners as well as a redesigned weather strip, oval exhaust tips and a rear diffuser at the back. Having the rear diffuser at the back of the car helps to clean up the air which passes underneath as you're moving along. Better airflow around the car means greater efficiency. The new GLA has a different profile compared to the old model. It's taller, but also shorter as well. Length of the car is the same as a great white shark. There are very short front and rear overhangs as well. There's quite literally a wheel at each corner. This helps the car to be very easy to maneuver. But given that the car's taller, this provides a much higher driving position and improved headroom. Another way this brand new model has become more convenient is how the trim opens with the door. If the car's dirty and you're getting in, your legs won't get dirty as well. Space for passengers in the rear of the car has grown too, with more shoulder room, knee room and headroom. Leg room is up by 12 centimetres, which would allow me to sit behind my own driving position if ever I would need to. All new GLAs come with the Easy Pack power opening and closing tailgate. Boot space as standard is a generous 495 litres, plenty of room for some French Bulldogs or a handheld vacuum cleaner. If you do need a little bit more boot space, then you can move the boot floor down like this. And if you need to triple your load space, then you can fold down all the seats like so. The interior has been completely changed too with the fully digital cockpit running MBUX. The system's twin display screens sit proudly on top of the dash. What I like is how the screens are uncovered, sit low and semi-recessed into the dashboard and are still very easy to see with their crisp and clear displays coping very well with direct sunlight. Twin 7-inch screens are standard. Executive equipment line adds a larger central display, while premium and premium plus equipment lines bring twin 10.25-inch displays to make up a widescreen cockpit. More safety is always a good thing too, and safety is a core element of Mercedes-Benz. The new GLA is bristling with active safety technology. There's active lane keeping assist, active emergency braking, attention assist, pre-safe seatbelt tensioners, multiple airbags and a lightweight yet strong chassis, all engineered in to help keep you and your passengers safe. The car can also pick up traffic signs and also pick up crossing pedestrians and traffic, activating the brakes if needed. The driving assistance package, which is quite frankly brilliant, adds a radar guided cruise control as well as blind spot assist. This helps to take a load off the driver and let you focus more on what's coming ahead. Naturally, we now have a much more efficient car too, and every engine that finds its way under the bonnet of the new GLA is brand new. From the new 1.3 litre and 2 litre turbocharged petrols to the 2 litre turbo diesels and the new 2 litre high performance engines from AMG, every engine is designed with fuel efficiency in mind. They've all got clever fuel saving technology like automatic start stop and cylinder deactivation on the 1.3s, petrol and diesel particulate filters and I could go on for quite a while here. The engines are refined and responsive and deliver an engaging but economical drive too. Later on this year we'll have the GLA 250E arriving with third generation plug-in hybrid technology. The 1.3 litre petrol engine is hooked up to an electric motor and a battery delivering up to 37 miles of zero emissions driving range. To find out more about the technology, then take a look at this video on its cousin, the A250E, in the link above. So, let's get it out on the road. The GLA is agile and nimble, able to change lanes swiftly and securely. It has great stability at low or at high speeds. The steering is ultra light, perfect for maneuvering at low speeds, but it weights up really quickly and really nicely as your speed increases. Whether you are doubting around the city or exploring country roads, this is a great place to be and an enjoyable thing to drive too. 
The car that we're in at the moment is a GLA 200. This has the 1.3 litre turbo petrol under the bonnet, pumping out 160 horsepower. I really do like this engine, it truly does outperform its size. This engine in particular also has cylinder deactivation technology. It can switch off two of its cylinders to save fuel when you're in eco mode. The pick of the range for me though has to be the 220D. I'm a fan of big power diesels and it suits the character of this car really well. 187 brake horsepower propels it from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 7.3 seconds. It is an SUV but it's a light one, tipping the scales at only 1500 kilos. With this new generation there is much bigger glass all around us making visibility outwards much better. I like the way that the windscreen has quite a shallow angle and stretches up quite far into the roof. For premium plus models with a panoramic sunroof, the glass just keeps on going, flooding the cabin with natural light and highlighting the space that you've got available. The GLA is available as both a front wheel drive or a 4Matic all wheel drive car. I like the way that the 4Matic gives you tremendous grip on all road surfaces. There's a GLA in the range for everyone and depending on how you drive the right choice for you may be petrol, diesel or plug-in hybrid. The range starts at £31,460 for a GLA 180 Sport and £32,960 for a GLA 180 AMG Life. Choosing additional equipment is made easy, all of the options are now in packages. Add £1,500 for executive equipment line, £3,000 for premium and £4,500 for premium plus. For some more driving performance, look no further than the models from Mercedes AMG. The GLA 35 Formatic joins the range with 301 brake horsepower from its 2 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder engine, twin oval exhausts, and the signature AMG grille. The range topping GLA 45S features Formatic Plus and an all new 2 litre turbocharged engine, generating a whopping 416 brake horsepower. That's a number which just a few years ago was only seen from a 5.5 litre V8. This engine is stonking, there's no other word for it. These will be arriving later on in the year, but after sampling the new 45 engine a few times already, I can't wait to see how it will perform in the new GLA. Every single thing on the new GLA has been changed, refreshed, updated and improved, and you can tell. Is there much point in comparing this one to the old one? In a word, no. The new GLA has completely reinvented the model, taken an already great package for road and off-road driving and improved every single thing, and you can tell. The new car is compact but spacious, safe and intelligent, engaging and efficient. In a nutshell, I think it's great. To find out more about the new GLA, arrange a test drive, view prices and our finance offers, get in touch with us here at Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire.